Euh, je parle un petit peu français, mais je pense que euh, ton anglais, c'est mieux que mon français. So. Mm -hmm. Proceed in English. Yes, I could be loud. Am I louder now? Yeah. Great. I am very happy to see all of you here because the fact that you are here is reliable evidence that I'm not crazy. <laughs> and this is good because over the past several months and years, I have occasionally felt like I was going crazy. <laughs> I feel like I'm going crazy when I hear someone suggest that robust funding of basic scientific research is an optional budget item, like one extra bench in a public park. I feel like I'm going crazy when I hear someone suggest that global warming due to human activity is not the consensus of the scientific community. I feel like I'm going crazy when I hear someone state that trivially falsifiable claims of visual physical reality are actually alternative facts, more, more traditionally known as lies. I feel like I'm going crazy when I hear someone claim that vaccines aren't safe or that they cause autism in children. And I feel like I'm going crazy when I hear, in 2017, someone say that people of color are genetically or culturally predisposed to poverty and hardship. But the fact that you are all here with us right now thrills me because it reminds me that I'm not crazy, nor am I alone. No, we, we are all in this together, everyone. We are marching because science belongs to everyone. And my, my, name is, my name is James Beecham, and I'm a member of the March for Science Geneva Organizing Committee, and I'm also a particle physicist, and I, 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 up at the, up the work, I work at CERN. And yes, I, I, does, that, does that mean there are people that work at CERN in this audience? Yeah. Uh, okay, it's good to hear. Um, but every day at CERN, I work with brilliant scientists from around the globe, from Iran, Mexico, France, Israel, Slovenia, South Korea, Germany, Nigeria, Spain, Sweden, Turkey, Romania, Norway, China, Brazil, Australia, and Morocco, to search for evidence of things like dark matter, quantum black holes, and Higgs bosons. It's the largest science experiment ever mounted, a big ambitious pro pro project that pushes the boundaries of human knowledge. And it's only possible with two key things. One, a truly global multicultural group of physicists and technicians to bring a multitude of perspectives and healthy skepticisms to our research. And two, the universal tenet that logic and reason applied in controlled experimental conditions are humanity's best tools for determining truth from falsehoods. The second one, the second one is also known as science. <laughs> and these two key things, multiculturalism and scientific thinking, are currently being undermined to an, uh, and vilified to an alarming degree around the world. And so we're marching, the, the March for Science Geneva, as a result, serves two purposes. One, we march in solidarity with the hundreds of marches taking place today around the world, from Japan to Nigeria to Iraq, to affirm that science is essential to a healthy society and that current trends in governments and populations around the world toward anti-scientific thinking are unacceptable. And two, we celebrate the Swiss government's long-standing dedication to scientific research and we embrace the Geneva region's global reputation as the home of big, open, inclusive science for the peaceful, common good of humanity. And we hold this up as a shining example to the rest of the world. Well, we're marching once again because science belongs to everyone. This also means that science is the responsibility 
of everyone. We're marching because we can understand why certain groups of people may not have the best reaction when they hear the word science. And not just because of atrocities committed using the tools of science, such as the Tuskegee ex syphilis experiment, not just because of horrifying misuses of technology inspired by bigoted misunderstandings of biology and psychology, such as electroshock procedures performed on gay men and lesbians, and not just because of the repeated use of scientific sounding but patently and maliciously pseudoscientific ideas, such as phren phrenology and racist social pseudoscience that seek to justify institutionalized prejudice. We're marching because our entire society is responsible, not just for these easily excoriated horrors, but also for the subtler, more pernicious things, like the persistent lack of women and persons of color in science and technology fields. <laughs> the conspicuous deficit of the same groups of people in representations of science in the public eye. Our entire society is responsible for the situation and we seize this opportunity to recognize this past and present and to demand a more equitable future. And starting today with this initiative, we affirm that science belongs to everyone and that Switzerland, Swiss Romand, and Geneva are laudable examples of dedication to science that other communities around the world should emulate. We're marching not just as scientists, but as concerned citizens. We're marching because science belongs to everyone. We're marching because facts are immutable. Empiricism is the best method we possess to differentiate truth from falsehood, and science, free from partisanship and prejudice, benefits humanity. On behalf of the March for Science Gen Geneva Organizing Committee, we welcome you to March. <laughs>